I'm glad this train came when it did as well because I was dozing off again in the shelter. <laughs> I'm at Shamvaya Pool, or full name, and let's face it, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Shamvaya G loves trains here and welcome to Exploring North Wales by Train Day 8. I am smashing out the county of Anglesey, finishing up along the North Wales coastline, calling at Bedorgan, Shanvaya Pool, T Cross, Rossnager, Valley and Hollyhead. I did get up at stupid o'clock this morning and have already been constantly dozing off to sleep. One five eight eight two eight has brought me to the first request stop out of five in a row. It's Bedorgan. The sun is out. It is warming up, which is great because I really would like to crack on with some sunbathing because I have got decent weights at all of these stations today. Bedorgan's got two platforms and it's run by Transport for Wales trains. There is a lot of interesting stuff to look at around the station. There's a phone box, milk cartons full of water, a treasure chest full of plantage, and possibly my favourite thing, the steps to nowhere. Yes, I am. I've no idea what this building is used for, whether someone lives there or what, but it is a piece of old art. Like, it's really mesmerising to look at. I particularly like the stained glass windows. Are we close to an airport here? Because planes do keep flying over. And platform two overlooks some fields, one of which is full of cows which keep staring at me. I feel like I've got spiders all over me. They kept dropping when I was sitting in that shelter over there. Getting on 158, 828. And I can't stop winging today. Oh wait, we've just been on this train, haven't we? We're getting back on it. Um, yeah, need another wee. I'm at Shamvaya Pool, or full name, and let's face it, this is the moment we've all been waiting for. Clamvaya pool gwingil go gera, clean draw ball, clantasilio go go go. Oh my days, I did it first time. And once you've um, been through the struggle, come out the other side, it is so much fun to say. And I'm going to continue saying it. There's a Blackpool Tower there. I'm on there. And when you're coming in from Bangor to Shlamverpool, Gwingil, Gogera, Queen Jobble, Tantacilio, Gogogo, there are a lot of Blackpool Towers. Shlamverpool, Gwingil, Gogera, Queen Jobble, Tantacilio, Gogogo is a TFW station and it's got two platforms. It's also a request stop, of course, and the main thing in the station is this great ginormous sign. And a lot of people think that Shanvai Pool Gwingil Gogera Hwindrobol Fantasilio Go 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 is the longest UK station name. But it's not, because that is actually Roos Cardiff International Airport. I always get the Cardiff and the Roos the wrong way around. Anyway, that was the right way around. And I feel like that is possibly the most common fact you hear about railway stations. I have noticed here that the yellow line is actually quite a way in from the platform edge. It's actually so busy here, I think most people are going to the shop. And what does the name actually mean? The Church of St. Mary in the hollow of white hazel trees near the rapid whirlpool at St. Cecilio's of the Red Cave. Yeah, what? I honestly could spend all day looking around that shop. There's so much in there. I just bought a coaster. This is a mega tourist hotspot. People get out the cars, take a photo, attempt to pronounce the name of the station, and then get back in the car. It does make you wonder, why don't more people just get the train here? I'm on 158831, and I've got about 14 minutes, I think, on board this service. So I am going to go to the toilet, yes, for a wee again. So also, I'm going to 
change into my shorts. I'm at T. Croix, which funnily enough I've had more difficulty pronouncing to myself today than the previous station. Also, just looking at the station sign, the T, I never know whether on the Y there's, I don't know what they're called, you know, one of those, that shape thing on top of it. Because there's not one on here, but then sometimes I see it written like that, so. The layout of this station is interesting because there is a level crossing in between both of the platforms. There's also a signal box and walking along this one of the two platforms, it's very stony. We're surrounded by fields and T Croix is served by Transport for Wales trains. It's a request stop and there is a rather large bird butter seat shelter. I think I've just worked out what those step things are because at Badorgan there was a humongous step up onto the train and there was no Harrington hump. So possibly it's the same situation at T Croix and you use the steps to help you get onto the train. I'm walking to frick knows where right now to be honest, but I had a lovely shot on my camera set up, like perfect for a train to go past and then I was like, I've been standing here ages, there's no train coming, switch the camera off, what's that? Oh my days, there's a train. And yeah, that's the shot I was left with. <laughs> I've totally just got flashbacks to being at Mobberley in exploring the Northwest by train because I've just thought to myself, is there a way I could do like a circular route and then re-enter the station from the other side? And looking on maps, it is possible. Looks a little longer of a walk than I was maybe hoping, but I think we can do it in time for the next train. Ah, great. A road with a grassy pavement. Yay! Oh, I can't even tell you how much I have missed this weather. I'm sweating like crazy on my back, but oh, it feels good. I've made it back with over half an hour left to spur. <laughs> Just got off 158818. I'm now at Rosnega. It's a request stop. And how long have I got here? About 45 minutes. I wasn't too sure. That's all right. As soon as I've got all my filming done, it'll be time to get on the train. Once again, there are really loud planes going over, but I have noticed now that they're not passenger planes. Rosnega's got a Harrington hump, two platforms, TFW trains, an interesting looking shelter over there. And I was just wondering, how do you cross the platform? I think it involves going underneath the track. So I'm gonna go and do that for fun. Something you do pick up on when frequenting down this route. No idea why I just said the word frequenting. I've literally never said that in my life <laughs> is that Rosnega is one of the more popular request stops hey I'm a little cutie 153 153 so, oh my days what was it no yeah I may have to double check the number on this 153 367 I knew it was I did think earlier that I could have just stayed on the train before, got off at Valley, gone back up to Rosnager and I now would have been in Hollyhead. But yeah, I didn't um, think of that when I was planning out the vlog, but oh well. Valley is a request stop. It's got a level crossing, a signal box, a tired looking building. It's run by TFW and it's got two platforms.
There is a Harrington hump on platform one, but not on platform two. And on platform two, there are seats. And on platform one, there aren't. And on the way in on the train, and actually you can see it also from the platforms, the track diverts off. Where does it go? I am intrigued to know. And I have looked, but on regular maps, it doesn't show anything. Pan Radishian Valley, Radishian Roy Snaker's Eyes, Pan Radishian Roy Snaker's Eyes, Pan Radishian Roy Snaker's Eyes, Pan. Pan Radishian Valley, Radishian Roy Snaker's Eyes, Pan. Ak Radishian Griffey, Bury Ice Crashy! We were all just waiting 14 minutes for the barriers on the level crossing to go back up. Not even joking. <laughs> Just come to have a super quick glance at some flowing water. I think it's the Cymru, Cymrian Strait, something like that. You can actually walk all the way across it, but unfortunately, I don't have time to do so. Forgot what it feels like getting on a train without having to request the next stop. It's one five eight eight two four. Premier Inn on the way into Hollyhead, which is where I did my first ever YouTube live stream, and that was the last time slash first time I've ever been to Hollyhead. It actually feels like I've been here more. I can't believe I've only been here once. And at the moment, it is absolutely covered in scaffolding. Anglesey complete. Hollyhead is operated by TFW Trains and Avanti West Coast also call here. It's got three platforms, although it did used to be four, and the platforms are in a really odd layout. So you've got two and three here in the main station, and then platform one, you have to walk over the footbridge to get to. It is a staff station. There is a ticket office in there, as well as ticket machines, and, there is a great connection from Hollyhead, I keep wanting to call it Hollywood, I don't know why, to, well, it leads you out to the port of Hollyhead, which allows you to get on a ferry, if you so wish, to Dublin. And surprisingly, it actually has the ferry times up on the timetable information board thingy. And I really do love this blue tinted glass. Why do I get the feeling that platform one may possibly be out of use at the minute? It just doesn't look like you're allowed down there. And I feel as though you're guaranteed to always see something of interest on these tracks. I mean, there's a HST down there. That is actually the one that I was waiting for to pass over the level crossing at Valley. <laughs> I do remember the way in out of the station being as confusing the last time and that was when I got up at Radick o'clock to get the early first Birmingham bound train. Do you know what? I really want one of the t-shirts from the shop at Chamberpool, Gwingil, Gugera, Quindrobol, Shlam, Cecilio, go, go, go! Nah, I just wanted to say that again. No, seriously, um, I was toying with getting a t-shirt and now I wish I did because I really want one so I may have to go back in the future and pay a visit pure just to buy the t-shirt. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Bye bye. <laughs>